I'm a little Moa Lola hat, right? You remember? You, do you remember? Do you remember when this hat caused so much drama within, you know, high fashion Twitter and just Twitter spaces in general? Oh, look at that. It's all bent and stuff. You know, I haven't worn it since I bought it actually outside. Crazy, but because my hair's all mad. But yeah, this hat caused so much or caused so much drama. It was the it hat of the moment, of the scene, of the industry, and people wanted it. Everyone was clamoring for it. Moa Loa, Ma, Mo, Moa Loa. How about, why don't why can't I even pronounce the brand name? It's Moa Lola, isn't it? It's not Mawa Loa. It's Moa Lola. Right. Yes, she was the toast of the town. Everyone was clamoring for her, the next hot thing out there in terms of the, the uh, designer. And, you know, she's still pretty much doing great things, I guess, now at the moment. I keep seeing new collections pushed out. So clearly the business has been somewhat handled behind the scenes. So that's great to see. But this was really interesting time because in the moment it was such an important thing to get this hat and you know the the, the lack of delivery the lack of shipping um you know the non answering of emails the selling out quickly and stuff it was mad how these were just flying out you know and people were going crazy for them and then when i finally got mine in the flipping mail it didn't come with any sort of protective packaging it just came in some plastic sort of like you know real mail sort of envelope sort of thing you get and also because it's a trucker hat that obviously didn't help or work to its benefit because it all got so i keep smashing the mic it all got bent up in the mail i think i spoke about this when i first got it but it all got bent up in the mail um the shape of it isn't really the greatest in terms of suiting my head it's more in the style of like a um of a traditional dad hat in terms of the shape I thought it would be more of a trucker hat because if you know, trucker hats usually come a little bit more up here towards the front. And then, you know, this is the crown, I guess. It's a little bit higher, a little bit longer. I don't know how you say it. Maybe deeper, you mean? So this would usually come up to about there. The crown would be higher. It would be just a little bit more round and it would suit my massive, you know, new era. Because the new era size hats, I wear, what, 7 and 5 eight, So I've got a huge dome. So usually I always go for trucker hats because those are the ones that usually can fit me or like old school style snapbacks that are usually quite big and they can fit in my head but when it comes to dad hats and this type of you know shape of hat where it's sort of sloped back you know past the brim it sort of angles backwards which is what you'd get mostly with dad hats and camp cats and stuff that you'd get from supreme it doesn't normally fit um the strap is a little bit whatever you know i usually like mine to have the double um clips on it i don't know if you've seen it before where it's got two lines of dots on it i think they usually hold on your head a little bit better the, the you know the mesh on the trucker hat's a little bit coarse and not the greatest quality and on the inside there's no moa lola label you know and you know to to, to borrow steve jobs uh, sort of design ethos where he was always obsessed with the inside of his products also looking as good as the outside the stitching on the reverse of that embroidery isn't the best is it you would either cover it up so you don't see it or clean it up a little bit the quality control is awful and it just doesn't look the great so i think i must have paid like 40 pound for this and this is definitely one of those things that you pay for mostly because of the name mostly because of the hype mostly because of the you know the clout associated with it and the core cool factor but it's not exactly the best design piece i've seen the thing that's the best of it i think is definitely the logo she smashed it with the logo taking that classic sony walkman type logo and essentially flipping it upside down and turning it into her logo for her design of her brand sorry was genius and especially when you consider that we're living in this sort of like y2k obsessed trend thing that we're going on at the moment this kind of works really well even though i think she was doing her thing prior to that thing being a thing or that trend being a thing um i still think it's a really really good logo that will probably stand the test of time more so than the overall designs that they're doing nowadays but man at the time this hat was a big deal big big deal and i fought tooth and nail to get this i was on my phone refreshing and stuff adding stuff and then in the end i haven't worn this outside once and maybe i might wear it actually when i go out on a weekend but apart from that i haven't worn it outside it's all bent up and looks kind of horrible and just isn't the greatest hat ever to be completely honest and you know a little bit disappointing in that regard but hey these things happen i guess these things happen